Dean Berdesker, my mother, Christina Bakri, all the Bakri family, Excellencies, my friends from Golkar, there are a lot of Golkar friends here in, uh, from Jakarta, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is a great honor to be here in Singapore to deliver a public lecture to such a distinguished audience. Singapore is so much of a second home to me that I do not really feel like a foreigner here. The problem in Singapore is never in arriving. It is in leaving. It is my pleasure to say that this time I'll be leaving behind a token of my family's appreciation of Singapore's position as a regional hub of scholarship. This morning, the Bakri Chair Foundation has endowed with a matching grant from the Singapore government a professional chair in Southeast Asian policy at the Rajaratnam School of International Studies at Nanyang Technological University. The chair will provide insight into development in Southeast Asia that lend themselves to policy formulation and policy implementation. Today, however, I'm built to speak about my own country. But first, let me express my admiration for Singapore and for the leaders of this great country, particularly Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. I remember Professor Henry Kissinger once said that Lee Kuan Yew was a great leader in a small country and he could be greater still in a bigger country. I agree with Professor Kissinger about Mr. Lee, but Singapore was never a small country. In the modern world, size and numbers, they do not matter. It is the quality of the people, their mind and their spirit, their determination and their willingness to sacrifice for the future their loyalty to the nation and the dedication of the cause of progress to the cause of progress. These are all that matter. And therefore, in my eyes, Singapore is a big and great country. It is a story of how, on how in only one generation, a poor 